Hey, what's going on, folks? Somebody asked for a review on the Marineland uh, LED, uh, and it's kind of hidden, and it's it's made. It's got some clips, and it's actually made to be hooked in under the. It's made to hook in this way. If you can see, to kind of slide in underneath your uh, your rim. If you have a rimless tank, obviously this wouldn't work, but um, I really like this light. Uh, I got it for like 38 bucks at PetSmart, uh, not counting tax. Uh, you can see it just fits It just fits that tank perfect. Uh, I added two. It gives me this right here. They have little clips here, so you, you know if you wanted to, but you can see all the extra cord I have. The other thing that I really like, I don't really use these uh, section pads, but this is a three-way toggle switch, so it'll go clear. Here, let me just show you what happens when I turn one off, and I can go blue with one. And uh, very nice light, plenty of cord, and then the adapter is just a long, thin, uh, square one. Matter of fact, I'm going to just show you what I did really quick what I did so here's here's how I set them up and then my heaters on there as well so I put my heater on my lights uh, cord just so I have one quick uh, thing to unplug when I'm working on the tank because it chances are I'm going to uh, when I do work or any kind of maintenance I'm going to take the lid off, and the lid's not going to obviously need the lights, and I can't run lights without the lid. That's hopefully the, the whole process, but basically I just don't want the heater on if I'm going to start draining water. Um, and this thing actually has a hole in it, like right down. You can't really kind of see it. There's kind of a hole right there so that the water level uh, in this overflow box is always going to be the same as the water flow here which is also true for where the water pump is. This this level is going to be the same throughout. But basically what I did is I just put it on an extension cord, put it on a timer. I still got to tweak it a little bit. And then they just come off and on, and it works great. Very happy with it. Um, I actually looked at a more expensive light that was uh, a, ha a higher output, but it didn't have the nice switch. So uh, I think for the money, this is a great deal. It, it fits perfectly. And, and, you know, if I wanted to use it for something else, I could. Uh, and I think the tank's going to be rolling with that. So anyway, I give it two thumbs up on this. Uh, it would be nicer if it was, you know, not quite as long. But it's definitely very bright. To give you an idea. The LEDs on this thing. Let's see if I can adjust the light here. All right, I'm going to have to. You can see the, the blue and the white. Let me turn this off so you can see the, the LEDs. So here's, I can't even see. So here's the, the strip of LEDs. This is in a clear plastic tube. So it's, it's actually covered. Uh, this is not exposed. You kind of see the tube right there. Uh, it doesn't put out a lot of heat, not very hot very low wattage and you can see these are going to be the blue LEDs right here that we saw earlier and then these are the white but uh, this right here is kind of neat because you have a knob here and you can kind of turn this so it's almost like this is a reflector they're directional and you can set how you want to set this on the top so but anyway that's it in a nutshell really really like it very happy with it uh, even if you just get one light strip it's so much brighter uh, than the other, so the one that comes with this tank. So, hey you guys, thanks for watching, and uh, there's my review on the Marineland LED hidden uh, lighting system. And if you have a Fluval spec uh, five gallon tank, it's it's perfect. Later.